All right, so I did this uh, Predator painting the other night and um, I was just really bored and I wanted to play around some different techniques and just kind of paint on this old canvas. It has a bunch of like embrasions on it and little bumps and messed up surface. And I just thought I'd use it and not waste it. So I did a painting on it and I put a little bit of this uh, matte medium from Golden and it's, uh, it's like to four glaze. And so I put a, a little bit amount on this entire area here. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna demonstrate um, just adding a little bit more glaze to it and giving it maybe a subtle transition and, and uh, maybe value and a little bit of hue. So I'll go ahead and try this out here in a second. Different types of brands, but mainly just kind of like a I use golden too. This is great, the hard bodies. It's nice. Um, I'm gonna kind of mix blend in a little bit here first, and I'm gonna use the a generous amount of medium. Um, pouring it now on my, my glass palette. And with this stuff, you gotta like, you gotta really clean the, the cap part because if you don't, it's really hard to open later, as I learned over the few times that I've played with it. I'm gonna start with the phthalo blue, and I'm I'm literally just kind of dabbing the brush, just a little, you know, like a. It's not all the way through. It's just kind of on one surface. I'm gonna spray with water. It's really warm in my garage today, and I'm just gonna spray spritz. I think is the phrase. Give a little spritz uh, to the blue right now, and I'm just gonna give a large amount of this medium with a dab of the uh, acrylic. I mean, technically they're both acrylic. So this is what kind of what it looks like. And I'm just gonna just dab it on there. From what I remember, when using this is uh, don't go over an area more than once or twice laying down this medium and just see what's going to happen here it's a slight there And I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna just take a little bit off of this light on his gauntlet because I want that light to be a little bit more uh, bright red than than kind of like a because if I put another layer on it, it's gonna be with a different color. It's gonna be like a, a purple. And then I'm gonna add like this much alizarin, alizarin crimson, alizarin crimson uh, to the phthalo blue to create a purple. I like the purple ranges with the uh, alizarin crimson versus like, let's say like a cadmium, cadmium red medium or whatever. Um, it feels like this is a little deeper, a little deeper uh, violet red or violet blue. And uh, I'm mixing right now, I have a large portion of this medium. The medium comes out white and it looks like As you can see here, it's starting to dry and settle. So I'm gonna put this purple right in the armpit area. See right there, you do not want that. Let's take that off. It's already coagulating. That's how hot it is in my garage. And this is, this is the reason why I, I do this type of experimenting on this type of 
painting because I don't think this is like a top seller unless you're an 80s baby like myself and you grew up watching 80s movies like myself um, but no judgment if you do I love 80s movies so um, obviously anyway so yeah you don't want you don't want these little clumps on here so you can just take them off with your brush and so I'm gonna let that dry and I'm starting to see a little bit of the glazing drying I'm not sure if you can tell on the camera but I'm already seeing uh, uh, like a purple here and a light blue here so um, I'm just gonna experiment we'll see what happens if I just kind of bring these two together you're supposed to let these fully dry but I'm giving it a light stroke here and if you are a glazing guru you can totally tell me that I'm doing something wrong again I'm just playing around and experimenting I've no one's taught me how to use any of this stuff and I'm I'm like hey why don't I just play with this and see what what, what this is about there if you didn't catch that one from Hanna Barbera just kind of dated myself it's all good So it's slowly drying. It's probably over 85 degrees in the garage. So this is actually a really good place for this kind of experimenting to happen. Um, to get even more of a faster dry time, I, I should open up the garage door and just let this kind of like breeze come in and out. But um, I get a lot of glare from outside so I, I tend to keep the garage door closed unless it's at in the evening and that way I can uh, get a nice breeze in here so yeah just kind of want to share a simple little thing uh, you can play around with any type of medium really this stuff is like a is just basically pure acrylic and uh, if you just pour it out on a table it like will dry clear so it's just melted ready to dry plastic I mean I'm sure there's other stuff in there that I'm totally not aware of but that's kind of how I I view this stuff and uh, you don't have to get golden like literally you can get the, even the cheaper stuff uh, I, I don't discriminate with supplies uh, this stuff is like you can get this acrylics from like Michael's, you know, the, the the Reeves or whatever. I've used all acrylics, so I don't discriminate. It's whatever you can get your hands on, really. Um, I always thought like, you know, is Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan without his shoes? Um, yes, but there's also the argument does he play a, li a little better with his designer shoes, right? Like, you know, all these nice shoes that are coming out from athletes. 
you know, they were athletes before these shoes, so you don't have to get the, the amazing stuff. You don't have to get the super expensive stuff. Like, uh, you know, you can get like really cheap brushes. Doesn't matter. If you practice and you get skills down on paper, you can handle you can handle any medium or uh, material. So there you go. Just thought I'd share that with you.